Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. As you can tell by the title and what I'm showing you right now, today is a declutter and I'm gonna be decluttering my concealers. Hopefully I can whittle down my collection. I have two drawers full here and this is what I keep my concealers in. They stay in these little Alex drawers on the side of my desk. And let's just get right on into it. If you are new here, my name is Kim. I love beauty, budget beauty, I love shopping. I love TJ Maxx, Dollar Tree, Marshalls. So if you love all those things, you will enjoy my channel and I am starting my declutter series. I really wanted to do this for beginning of 2022. This video might go up before the end of the year, but I want to kind of get a jump start because I really want to organize my collection much better and just get rid of old stuff or stuff I'm not using and kind of just reevaluate. So let's dive in. First up, I have the CoverGirl. This is the True Blend Undercover Concealer. Also gonna apologize for my nails. They are not done and they look so bad right now. So sorry about that. But I love this concealer. I actually use this a lot to cut the crease because it's a very thick kind of concealer. I have shade Classic Ivory. I think they sent this to me in PR. I might have another color somewhere else, but I use this one a lot. And it's a great drugstore option if you're looking for something similar to a Tarte Shape Tape. I'm sure you guys knew I was gonna say that. So this is a keep. Speaking of shape tape, I'm just going to pull that out while we were talking about it. I have two shades and I have light and light sand. I think this one's a little bit more pink. This one's a little bit more yellow. So I am definitely going to hang on to these. This is a pricier concealer. It is also a very still popular concealer. So I just don't want to let these go. I don't use them as much as I used to. This is very much like 2016, 2017. And I think there's a time and place for it. It's more if I'm going to like a formal event. So I save it for when I'm being a little bit more glam, but I don't reach for this. I'm gonna be honest with you guys too often. I love this concealer. If you could not tell, I'm literally almost done with it. It's the Instant Age Rewind, but it's actually the brightener. You guys, this is a best kept secret at the drugstore. This is so good. It's like the Becca brightener, except in like a liquid form. I highly recommend you guys check this out. You can actually wear it alone, but I usually wear it underneath my concealer. So I will use this up and then I will repurchase it. Here is a concealer that, oh my gosh, you guys look at this. It's all separated and gross. Um, look how liquidy that is. This shade never matched me. It was the shade Snow. I have to be better about my concealer shades, especially if I'm getting one that's a little more pricey. Although I can't remember the last time I made like a retail high-end concealer purchase. This is probably the last time I made a retail purchase of like a higher-end concealer. But I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. It is good. I love how big it is. Like, look at the wand. This uh, also probably came with the height of shape tape. Really beautiful packaging, but I'm going to let this one go. Talked about this in my TJ Maxx and Marshalls favorites of the year. I know a lot of people didn't like this, but I actually really like it as an everyday medium coverage concealer. And I think the coverage is really pretty. So I'm going to keep this one. I have the shade extra. Is it? Oh, extra shot light. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This is really all separated and gross too. This is fair warm. I feel like I probably need a new one of these. Honestly, I'm going to be honest. How repetitive can I get? This I never loved. I don't know, you guys. I just did not love it. I think I've told you that before, but I'm gonna declutter this one, and if I wanna repurchase, I'll just get a new one because this is really gross. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This is also so old. Oh my gosh, this is actually disgusting. We are decluttering this. I'm sorry to everyone who's watching. This is really bad. This is the Essence Camouflage Plus Matte Concealer. Okay, I don't love this concealer. I'm, again, gonna be honest with you guys. It's definitely not my favorite. Uh, it's really not, but I might keep it for like drugstore referencing, but I'm gonna tell you, it's not my first pick at the drugstore. This is Clove and Hollow. This is a like more natural brand. They actually did a whole rebrand. Um, so they don't, I don't think their packaging looks like this anymore. I'm gonna declutter this one. This is like a random J-Cat. Why is this in here? I'm gonna declutter that though. <laughs> this is a Strivectin Blur Factor Under Eye Brightening Primer. I mean, I guess this isn't, you know, this isn't a concealer, but um, maybe I'll hang on to that. Trish McAvoy. This is the Correct and Even Full Face Perfector, but why is it like, that's definitely not my color. It's kind of, kind of peachy. It has a nice applicator, but that's not gonna match me, so I'm gonna declutter that. I just got this one. I did a little video on it. I really like this. It's the Joa Truly Yours Dark, Dark Circle Concealer in light ivory. It has a little puff. 
I've been using this a lot recently because I did just pick it up at CVS. So we're going to hang on to that. This is another like under eye kind of primer thing. I have, a, I guess, a few of these. Amazing Cosmetics. Uh, they sent this to me in PR. There's so much cat fuzz on everything. This is the Line Smoother and Primer. It's just like, has these little roller balls. It's actually kind of interesting. I'll show you guys. It's just like a clear silicone-y kind of deal. Um, I'll hang on to that. I haven't had that too long. This, I'm going to declutter Neutrogena Skin Clearing. This is old and gross. This is also old and gross Milani Conceal and Perfect. I actually really like this concealer, but it's, look how separated and nasty that is. So we're going to let that go. The Revlon Color Stay Full Coverage Concealer. Again, not my favorite. Not my favorite, but maybe I'll hang on to it for drugstore reference. But again, not my favorite. We'll probably wouldn't repurchase. This is the Amazing Cosmetics Concealer. I have the shade Fair. This is a very thick concealer. Um, I also haven't used this one too much, so I will hang on to it, but this is definitely more of a like thicker concealer. One of my drugstore favorites, this is the Wet n Wild Incognito Mega Last Concealer. I have the shade Light Beige. I love this concealer. This is a standout favorite, so I'm gonna keep that literally just like what is going on this is color pop no filter we are we're getting rid of that this is i don't even know what this is i'm decluttering that old and gross and i already have a newer one from dollar tree the milani retouch and erase so i'm going to declutter that this is a little version of the it cosmetics i'm going to declutter this because i have the full size which is right here i may have another shade of this somewhere but i really like this one it is the Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage. Again, this is more for if I want a full coverage look. And this is in medium, so I'm going to keep that. The, oh, I actually really like this one. It's the NARS Radiant Creamy. I got this from TJ Maxx, and I'm going to keep this. I really like that one. Maybelline Better Skin. Um, this is old. I'm going to get rid of it. Wet n Wild Come Correct. This is a celebrity concealer. This is so old. I'm going to declutter this. I really like this concealer. I've mentioned this quite a few times on my channel. Um, it's the LA Colors Ultimate Cover Concealer. I will say it's it's not the most moisturizing concealer, but I really like it for a budget concealer. This is the regular e.l.f. camo concealer. I guess I haven't used this one too much either because, again, it just wasn't my favorite, but I'll hang on to it for, like, review and tutorial purposes in case I ever do something, like, e.l.f. related. This is not my shade. This is a little too light. The Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer, but this is newer to my collection, so I'm going to hang on to that. This is Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue. This shade is so, so fair. Oh my goodness, I'm really sad. I think I got this in BoxyCharm, but I feel bad. I haven't used it too much. Maybe I'll just hold on to it for a little longer. It's the L'Oreal Visible Lift, and I've been using this quite a bit, so we're gonna, we're gonna hang on to this. This is Neutrogena Brightening Eye Perfector. I like totally forgot about this. Is this expired? Because it has SPF in it. May... 2020 so i'm gonna declutter that this is oh this is another one that's unfortunately too light for me but it's the urban decay stay naked correcting concealer they had actually sent this to me that's i don't know if i received pr from urban decay anymore this is 10 and n but i'll hang on to it for a little longer because i feel bad it's like a pricey concealer this i did not like it's the la colors conceal it if you're gonna pick one i would say get that other one i showed you guys like ultimate cover so get this one, not this one. I think I got this one from Dollar General. This is so old. I'm going to declutter it. It is the shade Fair. I love this concealer. I actually have this one in light and they are both at the end. So I'm going to declutter this, but I will absolutely repurchase this. Such a good concealer. That's why I have three of them. Mama, Revolution Conceal and Define Crease Proof Concealer in C6. It's really big. I use this in a tutorial um, I need to test this out more because I feel like I didn't use it that much. Move that out of the way. Okay, this is also really old. It's the Maybelline Fit Me. It is so, like, gross. All right, getting down to the last few. I'm really happy so far with my progress. I have this Prescriptive Camouflage Cream. This is, like, a discontinued brand. I got it at the Estee Lauder Warehouse Sale. 
So I'm going to actually hold on to this. I do really like it. It is also a thicker concealer. Very similar to the Bye Bye Under Eyes. I just don't know if you can get this like at a regular store anymore. It is a Estee Lauder brand. So old. I reviewed this I think like six years ago. I'm going to declutter this. It's the BH Studio Pro. I think like back in the day I did a video with this versus like Tarte Shape Tape throwback. Okay, this is Palladio Under Eyes Disguise. Maybe they sent this to me in PR forever ago. I'm going to declutter this. I just never reached for it. This is a concealer I never opened. Jordana Take Cover. They are now a um, defunct brand. They no longer exist, sadly. But what do I do with this? Should I just like put it in a giveaway? Maybe I'll just hang on to it because I haven't used it yet. This is another... Born This Way Concealer. I don't know why I have two of these. This one is pretty much all used up and so gross. So we're going to declutter it. This is NYX HD Concealer. Oh my gosh, this is also so old. I can't believe how much old stuff I had in here. I'm going to declutter this. So probably going to go Maybelline Superstay. I actually really like this concealer. It's pretty good, but I'm going to get rid of it. This is another one. Super old Maybelline Master Conceal. This is in Fair. I'm going to declutter that. This is another Maybelline Fit Me. Again, so old. Oh my goodness, we're going to get rid of that. This is another shade of the Ultimate Cover Concealer. This one is a little bit deeper than the other one, so I'm going to hang on to this because you guys know I really like that one. Active Propolis Cream Concealer. Now, I have never seen this before, so... Hey Honey. It says it's from Denver, Colorado. Why have I never used this before? I don't even know where I got this, but no, it's pretty cool. Has anyone heard of this brand? I like the little applicator on it. The color isn't really perfect for me. It's a little more pink. Probably came from like an Ipsy or a BoxyCharm or something. So here is everything we are getting rid of. It is old. It is gross. Let me back up here. You can see my legs. Okay, so here is my declutter pile. There we go. I feel like I did an amazing job, not to like toot my own horn, but I feel like I got rid of tons. Let's see, I got rid of two, four, six, eight, 10, I don't know how to count, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, five. I got rid of 25 concealers, you guys. I feel so good about this. I feel like I had stuff in here that was literally years old. So getting rid of all these, let me show you what I'm keeping. Okay, I cleaned these out as best as I could. And I, last time I did a declutter, you guys told me you were very upset that I did not like show you me putting everything back. So I'm gonna do that today. So I do not uh, let you guys down. So I'm keeping, let's see, we got two, four, So here's what we are left with. Oh my gosh, I feel so much better about my concealer collection. This was so necessary. I had to be as ruthless as possible. There are even some that I honestly probably also could have gotten rid of, but I feel like this is a definitely a more conservative collection and it's less overwhelming for me. So this is why I love doing declutters. It's just, it's good for the soul. It's good for me and my makeup collection. I just, I can't keep everything, especially things that are old and I've used up a lot of it. I just have to go through like I did today and just pick out the favorites and kind of just pare down my collection a bit because I do have a large makeup collection. I'm a primarily beauty influencer. So we do tend to have a lot of stuff. So <laughs> I feel so good. And I'm going to go ahead and put these back in my makeup drawers. Gosh, you guys, I'm popping in over here because I forgot two, but these are both keeps the AOA Pawpaw Concealer. I love this one. 
I use that one a lot. And I also love this one. It's the Flower Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. This is more of like a dewier concealer. I love Flower, such a great brand. So I'm definitely keeping this one. You can get this one at Ulta. Okay, now I'm really done. This is actually kind of sad. Um, I lost a draw. This thing I got is from Michaels and it couldn't handle the weight of all the makeup I had. Bad is that. So what I've been doing is I've actually just been setting these on top of these. I actually just decluttered these. I didn't film that because um I just did it on my own. I wanted to just do it really quickly. But um I've just been literally setting this like on top. I have to I guess get a new draw set but I'm being lazy and just keeping these so i'm just gonna lay this on top like that and there we go you guys that is my messed up makeup draw if you guys enjoyed this concealer declutter if you did give it a big thumbs up when you like my videos it helps out my channel comment down below that also helps me out and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video and my next declutter bye